Our fourth example has us looking at a situation where it's not just theta. It's this one is in, in this situation, it's three times theta. Um, so we're going to behave like we have before, and we're going to say that sine of three theta is equal to one half. Um, and I'm going to ignore this for just a minute and think about, okay, well, when is sine equal to one half? Sine is the y value, so when does y equal one half? That's over here at pi over six. That's and five pi over six. See that I'm trying to pretend I can draw correctly. Um, so what we have is we found that three theta is either equal to um, pi over six plus two pi k, or three theta is equal to five pi over six plus two pi k. Well, we don't want to solve for three theta, we want to solve for theta. So we're going to divide everybody by three or multiply everybody by one third. Sometimes it's easier to think in terms of multiplying when it's a fraction. So this would give me theta is equal to pi over 18 plus two pi over three times k. You could put the k on top if you want, that's fine. Um, and then we also have theta is equal to five pi over 18 plus two pi over three k. This one gets, um, so the, this part and this part would be our answer when it says find all values. Sometimes though they'll say um, find theta when zero is less than or equal to theta, which is less than or equal to two pi. If they do that, then you have to kind of move around and get all the possible answers. Um, so initially we'd only had two, but since we're going around um, the circle, basically we go around the circle three times. So we're going to end up having six answers in this interval. Um, the first one is pi over 18, and then this is adding, if I, 2 pi over 3 is the same thing as 12 pi over 18, right? 6 goes in there 2, 6 goes in there 3. Um, and so I can add 12 pi, I could add 12 pi again, once I add, if I add 12 pi another time, I'm at 37 pi over 18. That, you'll notice, is bigger than 2 pi. So this one, we're going to stop. Um, we're not going to keep going by adding 2 pi. Why did I say 2 pi? 2 pi over 3 or, or um, 12 pi over 18. And then we also have this family of answers, 5 pi over 18. I add 12 to that. I add 12 to that. When I add 12 again, I'm at, what is that, 41? Well, if 37 was too big, you know that 41 is too big. Um, and this does give us the six expected answers um, between 0 and 2 pi. Notice, though, I kind of extended the original question, find, said find all. Well, there was all, and this is the one. These are the ones that would just be between 0 and 2 pi.